So imagine he's a lefty. This means that he does most of the things he does with what? Left hand. That means he can write with it, he can uh, cook with it, he can eat with it. This is what he does left hand. And she is a righty. Now, um, I need on that couple quickly. On that couple. Now, in this, in this, in this couple, all right, imagine she is the lefty, okay? He is the righty. No matter, right, leave her alone. Thank you. Now, um, if they don't understand how covenant works, they will both separate their strength. So she's using her left, he's using his right. He will now find out she doesn't use her right. She too will find out he doesn't use her left. And they will start complaining. He will start complaining, why are you not using your left hand? And she will start complaining, why are you not using your right hand? And they will keep quarreling. But the ideal concept of the marriage is that two people are meant to complement each other. That's why the Bible said two are better than one. It said they will have a good reward. By the time two of you complement each other, your weakness is almost removed or reduced to minimal level. If these two people are tied together, now there is no more. This is the weakness, the weak hands. It doesn't even exist anymore because, because they are one now. They have only one right hand, which is strong, and one left hand, which is also what? Strong. So they have a better reward. So if the enemy comes from the right side, she got it covered. If he comes from this side, he also got it covered. It's a perfect fit. This is what God had in mind. Two people coming together, becoming one. If she's not good with financial management, he will usually be good with it. He, she should allow him to run that part of the family. I know it's the other way around. Don't worry. Don't worry. I know. I'm a counselor. <laughs> I can perceive these things. If, if, if she's not good with cooking and he's good with cooking, he should handle it. That's how it should work. There's no need to insist that the woman must cook if she cannot cook and the man can cook. We're not going to suffer for nothing. He can, he can see to it. He doesn't have to do all the cooking, but he can help her out and put it in place and, and make sure she gets help. So whatever he needs to do. You know, that's how they are meant to do. If she's a better negotiator, when they go and negotiate, she should negotiate. If he's better knowledgeable about property, when they want to buy property, he should do it. You see, that way your weakness is almost totally removed when two of you are together. That's what God intended. But this ones, for instance, I know this is not how you are in real life in Jesus' name, but assuming they don't have that kind of cooperation. So, or let's even assume that both of them use only right hand. Both of them using right hand means that they have the same what? Weaknesses. Same weaknesses. There's nothing going on, on the left side of their life. They are both dragging for the right side. Submission is not hard when we are all staying on our lane. Is somebody getting what I'm saying? How many of you have ever entered plane before and you were arguing with the pilot? You do what? Submit. When he says, tighten your seatbelt, you fast him because you don't even know where we did. You see, the reason why some people don't submit is that they have not, not been able to complement each other. There are things I submit to my wife to clean and simple because I'm not knowledgeable about it. There are things she submits to me. Is somebody getting what I'm saying? When you find your place, when you get the synergy. Now, the, 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 the difficult parts, remember, it's a yoking. For these two to work, since they are not tied together, they can actually, you can see how they were coming. They were just walking. It doesn't matter how they, there's no rhythm to it because, and they can easily, this one can easily just even go. She can be tired of standing here and go. These ones that are tied together, for them to walk smoothly, they have to be conscious of each other. You see, he can't just walk anyhow he likes now. He's attached to somebody. He can't just wake up and, and go and do anything he likes. He's attached to somebody. So he must always be, conscious of her. Come. You see? He has to be conscious of her. See? They can't walk anyhow. When you're like this, you can't just say, I'm going. I'm done. I'm de-. Mm. Any decision you want to make, before you even go and use the bathroom, you warn her ahead of time that in five minutes, we are going... <laughs> he said it happened this morning. <laughs> you have to warn her ahead that we are, we are going to the bathroom in five minutes. So just start preparing. We are going to church. She needs to warn him that we are making up for the next one hour. <laughs> you understand? You are more considerate of the other person because you are attached to someone. But when you are separated like this, you can just be going and say, meet me there. You can stand back the way you are if you can. It's good. This, this, this is the practice. I want. You, you must be mindful of each other. That's the point. You must be mindful. Of, you, 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 you can't just do it anyhow you like. 
you are yoked with someone. You are yoked with someone. It will help single people adjust to married life. The reason why some people, when they, when they are single, they, might, they still can't keep... When you are single, you move as you like. We move. Uh, <laughs> you are not married, that's why. <laughs> when you are married, you, have, you say, can we move? It's not up to you again to just say we move, no. When you are married now, you have to factor. And some people never make that adjustment. They move, they, they're single. When they get married, they still behave like they're single. They just spend money anyhow they like. Come back to the house anytime they like. Be a married man. You, you, you can't say you're hanging with the boys. Which boys? You say you will leave all others and do what? Cleave. Somebody get in this. <clears throat> so for the single people, this is what happens. If you want to enter into marriage, please check out some basic things. Because marriage is a covenant relationship, make sure the person you are thinking of marrying or you are looking for or you want to choose is also conscious of what a covenant is. He must be conscious of it. If he's not conscious of it, you are putting yourself at risk, bringing your covenant mentality to a person that has no covenant mentality. He will keep taking advantage of you. 